Hello students, welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. I am your teacher, Mr. Stanley Ombogo. So uh, students are today in grammar, we want to distinguish prepositions from conjunctions and uh, adverb particles. Meaning that uh, in our lesson today, we want to study the difference uh, between prepositions, uh, conjunctions and adverb particles. So uh, the three are all used in joining ideas in sentences. So when you talk about prepositions, conjunctions, and adverb particles, they are all used uh, to join ideas in sentences. So how about we start uh, by distinguishing uh, prepositions from conjunctions. So talking about prepositions, uh, dear students, these are short words that are used to express a relationship between two parts of a sentence. So examples of uh, prepositions we have above, against, before, at, and uh, so on. So another thing is that the relationship could be in terms of space, time, reason, or uh, cause, meaning that uh, we can talk about different types of prepositions. They are those that can be used to uh, indicate time. We have those that can be used to uh, indicate a place. There are those that you can use to indicate, uh, uh, you know, direction, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So in a sentence, a preposition is followed by what we call a prepositional object or a prepositional complement. So uh, this prepositional complement can be a noun phrase, an adjective, or an adverb uh, phrase. So the examples that we have in sentence, there are two examples here. So the first one, place the food before uh, the guests. Then the second one, the scouts have come here since uh, last week. So the, uh, in the first uh, sentence, we have the preposition that is uh, before, and uh, it is a preposition of place because it is indicating uh, you know, uh, where the food is supposed to be uh, placed. So the second one, uh, in the second sentence, we have got the preposition since, which has been used uh, to talk about time or to indicate uh, time, that is since uh, last week. So in the above sentences, the underlined words before and since are prepositions and the words in the bracket are the prepositional objects. They are the prepositional uh, object. So remember, we have said that the prepositional uh, object or the prepositional complement can be in form of a noun phrase, an adjective, or an uh, uh, adverb. On the other hand, uh, conjunctions are used to join ideas or two or more clauses in a single uh, sentence. So we also have different uh, types of conjunctions uh, uh, that are used in sentences. Uh, to join ideas. So, uh, for instance, we have uh, the coordinating conjunctions, uh, that is uh, the fun boys, we have the conjunctions for, uh, or, and, but, so, yet, and so on. And we also have the subordinating uh, conjunctions. So, examples of conjunctions are, we have until, uh, we have the conjunction because, uh, there is also the conjunction after. So example in sentences that is looking at the first uh, at the first conjunction until determined people keep trying until uh, they succeed. So the conjunction there has been used uh, to connect uh, two uh, ideas or uh, we can talk about uh, two clauses. So the first one is you know uh, the people who are determined being connected to. Uh, the second, uh, the second part of the second clause that is uh, success. So again, we also have, uh, he was punished because he broke the uh, glasses. So because is also uh, the conjunction in the sentence, and it has also been used to uh, show the relationship uh, that we have between uh, these two parts of sentence. Uh, that is, it is uh, giving reason behind the punishment. Then, uh, Lastly, there is, uh, these are the example. The, the agents only left after the votes were all uh, counted. So again, after in this case is used to join uh, 
uh, two different ideas. So the first idea uh, talks about, you know, uh, the gents living. And the second idea is informing the readers that the gents, uh, sorry, the agents only left, uh, that is, uh, when uh, all votes had been counted. So uh, those are examples of, uh, uh, that is conjunctions, and again, how they can be used in sentences to express uh, different, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, scenarios or situations. Uh, again, uh, let us look at uh, now the difference that we have uh, between prepositions and adverb particles. So I'm not going to repeat what prepositions are because uh, we started by looking at it. So adverb particles, adverb particles. Adverb particles are exactly like prepositions, but the difference comes out in uh, the usage. That is, uh, the only difference is how they are used in sentences. And again, you will realize that uh, uh, the words that we have, the words that are used as adverbs are uh, the same words that are used uh, like uh, preposi uh, prepositions, or they are the same words that are used like uh, uh, or as uh, prepositions. So we have uh, examples of uh, adverb particles like over, up, out, on, about, off, down, and uh, back. So they are used together with a verb to form uh, what we call a phrasal verb that conveys a non-literal uh, meaning. So examples of phrasal verbs that we have, the first one uh, in sentences, so the first one is the vehicle broke down. So the phrasal verb that we have in the sentence is, uh, uh, that is uh, broke down, meaning that it had, the vehicle had some uh, mechanical uh, uh, problems. Then uh, the second sentence we have, the workers have called off the strike. So called off meaning that, uh, you know, the strike has been uh, ended. Then the last example, please, turn on uh, the light. So to turn on the light is uh, switching on the light. So dear students, if you look at uh, the three uh, sentences that we have and uh, uh, focusing on uh, those that are, uh, you know, uh, uh, written in uh, blue ink, you realize that uh, they are made up of, uh, you know, adverbs that are used together with words to form another meaning that is different from uh, the literal meaning. So when we are talking about uh, phrasal verbs, we are not looking at the uh, dictionary meaning of the words, but we are looking at the, uh, at the word uh, or, or the meaning that has been created by joining, uh, by joining the two uh, words uh, together. So in phrasal verbs, we do not look at the literal meaning of the words that have been used to uh, to make them. So sometimes, however, uh, the, uh, the, the, the two words that we have in a phrasal verb are separated. Examples, we have uh, number one, the brothers put out the fire before the firemen came. So the phrasal verb that we have here is put out, that has been, uh, you know, uh, formed by joining uh, the verb put and uh, the adverb out. So uh, in the first sentence, they have been written together. And in the second sentence, that is the brothers put the fire out before the firemen came. Uh, the phrasal verb in this case uh, has been uh, separated. That is, uh, they have been written separately, as you can see. So, dear students, uh, prepositions, conjunctions, and adverbs can easily uh, be confused uh, because uh, they sometimes have uh, the same form. So one can only tell the difference uh, on the usage. And that uh, brings us to the end of this session. Thank you for watching till the end and remember to always keep it easy, Limo. Until next time, bye.